Right. Um, Jake has handed it off, off to Miller Cochran, right? Right. All right, Miller, tell us what the scoop is on transportation in Chatham County. All right, so we'll be looking at sort of every every mode, all, all regions of the county, looking at uh, mobility, uh, driving, biking, walking, transit, how people get around, uh, what the infrastructure needs are, what the county can do, uh, preparing for growth in the future, and um, you know, sort of what, what the county needs. We'll be reviewing what's been planned in the past, and um, also looking at safety, looking at... Um, so one, one Hold on, let me, let, let me move Miller a little bit closer. There we go, and move up. There, I want to get, get the map and you in there. Go ahead. One thing that's gotten a lot of attention is the uh, commuting for the for the county. Okay. Um, about nine thousand people live outside the county. Right. In about five thousand both live and work in Chatham County. Twenty one thousand live in Chatham County, work outside the county. So a lot of people leaving the county. For work. All right. Now let me ask you a question. Up here we see that Chatham's commute one 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 percent of that is transit and. That's like the empty bus that runs from Pittsburgh to uh, Chapel Hill. Let's talk about disruptive um, technology like Uber or Lyft. And if you're calling Chatham Park and you're, you're bringing in the type of millennium that's going to be living there, some of them don't want to own cars. So how's that going to, you know, how's that going to affect the outlook for transit and for transportation? I mean, we're talking about even having uh, rental Ubers where you're doing a kind of a transit with with cars. Right. Yeah, I mean, certainly as something like a big development like Chatham Park or as a development comes into the county, we'll be looking at uh, the transit response to that, uh, where, where new routes could go, whether new services in demand. Um, certainly millennials show different transit preferences than older generations, so, you know, how do we serve those? How do we match that demand? Um, so that would be something we look at. But yeah, certainly, you know, Chatham Park's sort of a, a big... Now, I think one, one number that definitely sticks out is this one right here, 27,000 miles, vehicle miles traveled for, per year. So that's what, one person in a car traveling 27,000 miles per year, or two people in a car traveling about 13,500 miles per year. And another big one is the annual cost per household of driving. Um, you know, that's a big hit for the budget, that's a lot of money. So. And what are you hearing back from folks as to what they think we can do about transportation in Chatham County or what they would like to do about transportation in Chatham County? A lot of comments, um, you know, making sure mobility is still um, preserved as, as the area grows, as the chat, uh, county grows, making sure people can still get around um, easily. That's something people value in the county. Um, looking at biking in the county, making sure, um, you know, their infrastructure that, you know, the the roads have bike lanes or shoulders or, um, you know, are those rural roads where you might be safe, you know, biking on the, on the road itself. Okay. But, you know, what the options are there, greenways, off-road facilities, things like that. Now, is it Kara? Kara, would you like to add something to what Miller said? Sure, yeah, I definitely think um, if you want to get involved in transportation, we definitely have a lot of opportunities. Um, we currently have Does that mean you want me driving you around? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about our planning process. Oh, okay. Um, so we are, as a county, we don't maintain roads, um, but we do have to work with DOT. And so DOT has many different long-range plans that we, uh, long-range and short-range plans. So right now, um, part of the county um, is underway with their CTP. Um, so we actually are having uh, public input workshops at the same time as we're doing this. It's a, it's a separate process, but looking at the same types of things. Um, so we'll be here tomorrow. DT will be here in Goldston, in JS Water School. Um, okay. And if this video comes out on Sunday... Then I guess, yeah. Still stay involved. We can still stay involved. Um, actually, you can go to the DOT website. If you type in STI legislation or STIP development, it'll bring STIP. you STIP, S-T-I-P, okay, just want to make development, sure. and they actually have a new tool on there called MetroQuest, and it's actually interactive, it can show you um, where do you want to spend your dollars on transportation, and you know, what are the types of things that you want to invest in, um, so that's a new tool, you can go check it out, um, also we are working with the MPO, the uh, Metropolitan Area Planning Organization, and so um, they also are underway with the CTP. And that what, what is a CTP? I'm sorry, I'm throwing out lingo, so this is a Comprehensive Transportation Plan. Okay. 
So it sounds similar, but it's strictly about transportation. And it looks at all different modes. Um, and so you'll probably be hearing stuff about that come fall. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff going on in transportation world, and there's definitely a lot of ways you can get plugged in. You can go on our website to the transportation page, too. I update it pretty regularly, so there's links there. You can go check it out. There you go. See, all you need to know about transportation from Miller and Kara here, and stay, stay involved.